Hey, Evelyn. Can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Mm -hmm. Which team do you play for? Well, I I'm a peach. Well, I was just wondering, because I couldn't figure out why you would throw home when we've got a two-run lead. You let the tying run get on second, and we lost the lead because of you. Now you start using your head. That's not love that's three feet above your ass. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. Rogers Hornsby was my manager, and he called me a talking pile of pig <laughs> And that was when my parents drove all the way down from Michigan to see me play the game. And did I cry? No, no. No! <laughs> no! And you know why? No. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! No crying! What's the matter, Jimmy? What? She's crying, sir. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Perhaps you chastise her too vehemently. Good rule of thumb. Treat each of these girls as you would treat your mother. You want to ever tell you look like a penis with a little hat on? Oh, You're out of here! Oh, no, right no, no, now, no, Jimmy, you, I heard you that! Misunderstood. You misunderstood me! You misunderstood me! No, you can't throw me out for that! Second, no one, you got a strike off! The dead zone! And the man got lost! And you the hell out of this field! I can't yeah. believe no one ever called you that before! today what was a tractor show in town so if you're in the area you must be in the area because this isn't a very powerful radio station come on down to the ballpark and bring the kiddies why don't you people better start showing up we don't have fans we don't have a league uh, ladies oh you you all look wonderful Mr. Lowenstein? Um, hello. Hi. Uh, ladies there's a, a reporter and a photographer in the stands from life magazine the famous magazine. Wow. Don't waste your time, Doris. Make get that sketchy one. Uh, Dottie, I'm trying to get them to do a story about you. Me? Why me? Uh, because you're the queen of diamonds. That's what I'm calling you. Well, did you tell them anything about me? Oh, yeah, I sure did, kid. I, I told them how at first the scout didn't even want you, uh, but how Dottie wouldn't come without her kid sister. They loved it. They, they really loved it. A real human interest story. So, uh, will you just try to give them something spectacular out there? To, uh, I don't know, uh, anything. <laughs> well, why? What's the matter? Well, May, we're not doing so well. Uh, Harvey and the other owners think they've made a mistake. Uh, they're talking about closing you down. What? What? Yeah. what are you talking about? Closing what down? You can't close us down here. Explain yourself. Mr. Lowenstein. What kind of a thing is that you say? What does that mean? What? Well, they're what? businessmen. So? No profit, no what are you product. Talking? Wait a minute. Talking about and what am I supposed to do, huh? Go back to taxi dancing? Ten cents or some slop can sweat gin all over me? I'm never doing that again. So you go back there and you tell old rich Mr. Chocolate Man that he ain't closing me down. All right, man. They can't That's keep right, us from Doris. playing. Come on, they we'll can't stop us from playing, can they? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I am trying my best. Uh, so will you just, just give them everything you've got? You always do. 